We are One, two, and three have been eliminated. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Oh, yeah. And only four remain. Somebody's O must go. Five foot ten, twenty nine years old from the USA. She's a bad mamma jamma. Shut your mouth. At least that's what she told Zachary to do. Wait, I did not hit anyone. I hit the ball. Shut your face. Or just call her the can woman, because any woman can get it. Doesn't matter if you're the chair umpire, the mother, the coach, or the WTA supervisor. Ouch. What did she call me? Hold up. Is about to be a war. Girl fight. It doesn't matter who you are. When Danny Mel's ready to play, forget the change over. Let's go. Come on! And not even Paula Badosa's got a say in that. Vamos! Ahora! Esperaré. Dos veces, dos veces. Two time, two time NCAA champion, Danny Man. You better ask Paula Badosa about that back end. Whoa! Five foot ten, twenty seven years old from the Czech Republic. She's a Grand Slam champion, but just call her Iga's worst nightmare. Ouch! Not again. How many times has she beat Iga for the title? Ah, oh, poor Ega. It's okay. But things weren't always that great. Did you see what happened in New York City? Whoa! And the Oscar for best leading role in a tennis match goes to 
Tennis Sangren, ladies and gentlemen, what an epic performance. He saved off four match points, called for the physio. He even got a penalty violation for passing out on the court. Unbelievable. That's right, Good Energy. This is definitely the best performance I've ever seen in a tennis match. With those underdog odds, unbelievable. I'm surprised he didn't get disqualified. He could barely get the ball over the net. He was out of breath, exhausted. This is just a miraculous performance. Leading role in a tennis match. Hands down, this is the best Oscar performance I've ever seen in my life. Miraculous. Walton didn't want any part of the handshake, but the physio were courtside on hand waiting for this one to end. And yes, Sandgren was treated immediately, but sometimes a win makes everything better. Amazing. Barbora got the victory, but would have to withdraw with an abdominal injury. But thank goodness it wasn't the pinky toe. Mukuruza wasn't happy. She had words at the net but didn't have much to say in the post-match interview, except I just didn't play my best. Where's the killer instinct when you need it? Matala, Matala. Repesa. Um, yeah, okay. Danny Mel averages four aces per match and wins 71% of her service games. She wins 30% of her return games and gets 67% of her first service in play. She breaks opponents when they're pressured at 58%. She's saving 43% of her own break points. Danielle Collins is aggressive. She's got a top-notch backhand and she can stretch the court with her power. She's vocal, energetic, and if you're timid, she might intimidate you. Chris Chikova averages three aces per match and wins 74% of her service games. She wins 37% of her return games and gets 68% of her first serves in play. She breaks opponents when they're pressured at 51% and she saves 58% of her own break points. Krachikova's got a wide serve and volley, great topspin. She's a good two-way player and her angles are underrated. Why did the chair umpire tell Danielle Collins to stop? Because she was causing a racket. And I'll take Barbora, the underdog, and the free games. I think Barbora can win this match outright, but I'll take the free six and a half. Why not? This is good energy. Have a great weekend, guys. Thanks for all the love.